hey guys welcome back to my channel um yeah i just got out the shower so i feel like right now will be like the perfect time to show you guys my skincare routine it's a four step routine i did two of it in the shower and i'm gonna do two of it out of the shower and yeah that equals four steps so quick math um stay tuned um yeah i look like a little rat <laughs> bye <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so before I continue, I just wanted to um, go ahead and just show you guys what I use in the shower. So I use the CeraVe uh, Foaming Facial Cleanser. I've been using this one for like years now. Um, it just works for my skin. I know this is really, really ironic considering I have two pimples that I did pick at. Um, but yeah, it's okay, like, you know, it happens. But this is what happens when you get stressed out. Also, another product that I actually have been using since, like, what, March? Um, is the Angels on Bare Skin. Uh, my friend actually recommended this to me and I used it once and I was convinced. I was like, oh my god, I need to go use it and I bought it. And ever since then, I've never turned back. This is like a must-have in my skincare routine. Um, it's a face and body cleanser, so you can use this obviously all over your body. Wherever you would get back acne if you um, are affected by back acne, you could even use this to exfoliate your legs or your armpits or your arms whenever you shave in the shower. Um, I just feel like it would help with that. So those are the first two steps that I do in the shower. Um, so when you guys saw that earlier clip, I had already done those two things in the shower. I start with the foaming cleanser and then I go in with the Angels on Bare Skin just because I like to exfoliate after I cleanse. Duh. And then now we're going to go ahead and proceed with my two other steps that so y'all are going to see me apply in just a second. So bye. Right here in my little hand, I have my oil bar from Lush. It's called Full of Grace. And this also is a must-have in my skincare routine. This is whatever I have left from it um, because I use the other half, obviously. But yeah, it's a solid bar. Whenever you apply it to your skin, the heat that your body emits will turn this into a liquid, aka the oil. Um, so science. So let's do that. So what I do is I just start here. I can grab it like this. And I... Oh! Oh! Oh my god okay hold on all right so i'm gonna apply it to my skin like this after it just broke but y'all see my struggle and that's because you have to be so gentle with it since it does you know break that easily since it's so malleable but any doodle while i apply this to my skin ever so gently um in terms of the exfoliator the angels on bare skin it's a face and body cleanser and that means that you guys are more than welcome to use it on different parts of your body. Like if you're affected by back acne, go ahead and exfoliate that and cleanse that as well. Um, if you're shaving and you want to exfoliate, you can also cleanse while you do that. Just use it on your legs. Um, armpits, you get the gist. You can pretty much use the angels on bare skin for anything. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get my jade roller. And if you don't have a jade roller, literally use your fingers. It's not that big of a deal. Make sure your hands are clean, obviously. Um, but yeah, this gel roller, I got it from Marshalls, I would say for about like $6. I'm sure they have one that's like cheaper. The highest it'll go is probably like 10 bucks. So yeah, just take it and massage it all over your skin. And that's really it. This is what I do every single day, especially when I go to work. It depends on my mood, but I really don't want to wear makeup when I go to work just because if I wear makeup every single day, my skin's obviously going to act out because that's just normal. So now once you're done with the jade roller, like gently like massage it into my skin. Third step is really easy. Just get an oil bar, smother it all over your face. Also, you can kind of control how much oil you want. You just put a little bit, put a little bit in the massage. I like to go in just because like I like my face really, really hydrated. Yeah, I'll look oily, but you'll see why I use the moisturizer as the last step because it kind of like calms it down because you're rubbing it in more to your skin. The step number four is really easy. So step number three, just smother it all over your face, rub it in, and then pretty much step four is the same thing. It's really, really easy. So I'm taking my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion and I'm going to go ahead and just do, I don't know, like one, two pumps. And I'm going to go ahead and massage this all over my skin. And yeah. And I know I said that you're going to look oily, but the lotion calms it down um, just because it's like locking in all that hydration. And also you're rubbing it into your skin even more than you did in the third step, which is why it doesn't look so crazy. It looks crazy right now. Okay, and this is a key. I know I look really crazy right now, but um, Nini Leaks on Real Housewives of Atlanta, she said this years ago in one of the episodes. I wish I knew what episode it was, 
but she said never neglect the neck honey and ever since then i started putting lotion on my neck because like she said it once i said yes ma'am i went about my business and i started putting it on my neck and like that's just something that i always do because your neck is actually the first thing that would age um, just because people really do neglect their neck and like that's why it looks all wrinkly so i always put lotion on it just finish rubbing it all into your skin be super gentle it looks like i'm doing it really really aggressively i'm not that's literally it that is my four step skincare routine i do have two optional steps that i do um always this is my fifth step so on this tube, I just have pure castor oil. What I like to do is I like to put it on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. This is completely optional. They even sell castor oil kits where it comes with this. And yeah, I just apply it to my eyebrows and this helps with them to grow. I have noticed a significant increase in my eyebrow growth because um, I accidentally cut my eyebrows the wrong way. I don't know if you can tell, but like right here, it like is shorter and then it gets longer or it's just not symmetric with my other eyebrow. I've noticed that the castor oil has helped it grow faster. Uh, obviously, it's not even yet but this has definitely helped. Whatever's left on the mascara applicator, I like to go ahead and put it on my eyelashes. Be very careful with this because castor oil is very, very thick, but if you apply it to your eyebrows first and then your eyelashes, you should be completely fine. So yeah, now I'm just applying it on my eyelashes. And once again, my eyelashes have gotten fuller. My, I've always had long eyelashes, but I started putting castor oil on them just because I wanted to get that full effect. And also, um, I started putting... Vaseline also is a good one to put on your eyelashes. Because I got eyelash extensions like once. Biggest mistake I ever made. Um, because whenever they started to fall out, I actually picked up my own lashes. And I literally had no eyelashes. I looked like a freak. So I just looked insanely like weird. And yeah, I literally had none. Like it looked like I just had like my eyelid, like a bare eyelid. And yeah, that was not cute to me. But because of that experience, I put castor oil and Vaseline. It's either one or the other. Um, and yeah, my eyelashes grew back. During the day, I only put castor oil on my top lashes. At night, I'll put it on my bottom lashes. Just so, I don't know, the functionality of it is just better for me. Just because, like I said, the castor oil is very, very thick. But you don't have to worry about that if you just do your top lashes. So now we're on my optional step number six. I made a lip gloss about two weeks ago. And fun fact, I have super, super dry lips. Ever since then, it's kind of like changed my life. I also added eucalyptus oil on it just for like the fragrance of it. I really, really like my lip gloss just because I put castor oil and jojoba oil on my skin. I was like, well, why not put this into a lip gloss? I will be releasing these soon. I just really want to make it perfect. So just please stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. I would say that the consistency of this gloss that I have right now that I made for myself is kind of like a hybrid of a lip oil slash a gloss because it's not so thick to where it's like uncomfortable, but it's also not so oily to where it would just rub off instantaneously. Fun fact, other than this, I love to eat food and I'm always gonna be eating food, that's not gonna change. But I hate whenever I'm done eating food and I have to like run to the restroom and like exfoliate my lips all over again. Whether that's like going to the restroom and then like rubbing them down with like a wet paper towel and then applying Vaseline over it just to like block in that moisture again. Um, so yeah, I actually noticed that I don't really have to do that anymore and whenever I apply this before I eat, yeah, obviously it'll rub off, but the moisture is still there in my lips, so I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to have that fear of like, OMG, I'm gonna have crusty lips today. Like I literally can just be like a normal human being and just like reapply this on my lips and then go about my day. Okay guys, so you guys saw my four step skincare routine with the optional two step. Technically the sixth step isn't available for you guys yet, but I want it to be, so please just be patient with me. Um, I really do want you guys to experience what I'm experiencing in terms of it being all natural, in terms of it being vegan, and in terms of you guys not having crusty lips because like that's not fun for anyone. Um, this is the, I guess, view of my pimple and then also the castor oil on my like lashes. Um, this is the growth that I've had thus far. 
Like I said, my eyelashes have always been long, but now they look full. I really, really hope that you guys like my skincare routine. This is something that I do every single day. You guys know that. And then also the castor oil is also something that I do every single day. So if you do have castor oil or if you have Vaseline, go ahead and apply that to your eyelashes and then get a very small amount and apply it to your lashes just like that with your finger. I really, really hope you guys have a great day and just, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,